Well, hey guys, how's it going? You know, it hasn't been that long ago, or it doesn't feel to me like it's been that long ago, that I told you about the XDM Elite in compact 10 millimeter, and I got a ton of questions and, and comments about people wanting to see it in full size in the OSP configuration, which is what you see right here, obviously. It's got an optic on it. This is the version that comes with the optic installed from Springfield Armory. It's the Hex uh, Dragonfly and uh, it, you can also get it without. Without the optic installed, it does still have the cutout on the slide and it has a cover plate on it and so you can still install an optic at a later time or a different type of optic if you wish. The big difference between the one that we looked at in the smaller size and this one is simply the size itself. This is the new XDM Elite configuration. It's got this fantastic trigger and the improved ergonomics, great pair of sights if you don't have an optic installed on it. But 16 plus one, 10 millimeter. So each of these magazines, it comes with two, each of them holds 16 rounds. It's a whole lot of 10 millimeter. And as you can see, there's room left over for my hand. So this will be my very first shots with this gun. I've got my target about 12 yards down range and I'm just gonna do what I usually do. Just empty a couple magazines at that target. See how I like shooting it. And is my optic on? No, it's not. Probably should turn my optic on. Before I start, let me just say, I'm not real sure where the zero is on this site. And because it does not co-witness, um, I can't like compare it to my normal sight picture and get an idea for it. So I don't know, and I think it's going to be an elevation question. Hopefully I'm somewhere in the ballpark and we're going to find out. I may totally miss that target. So if I'm way off, I have a built-in excuse, but that means a little bit of extra work. Let's find out now. Dead center. All right, looks like I'm low by four or five inches, probably. Yep, pretty consistent. So I think I need to adjust this red dot. Bring my bullet up. Probably six inches. So I'm gonna do that now. Ballpark adjustment. Let's see what we got. We're getting there. A little bit more. Windage looks good though, right? Take a headshot, go for a clean area here. All right, that's not bad. I think I can still bring it up a couple clicks. So I'm going to do that and start over. Okay, this time I have 16 rounds in the magazine, but I'm going to top it off. Go 16 plus one, full capacity. Seventeen rounds of ten millimeter. That's uh makes you feel pretty well armed, I think. Okay, I think I have a pretty good zero ish. <laughs> uh, enough to uh, enough to shoot this steel target anyway. So let's go back at it. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of what I think about this gun. 
So first of all, it is an XDM Elite. So it's a good quality handgun. It's got those very good and familiar ergonomics. Trigger is amazing on these new guns. You can probably hear that reset. That didn't used to be the case with XDMs. There's like a two-stage reset. If you can hear it. Right there. But it's very tactile too. Trigger brake is clean. It's, it's just a really, really good trigger. And the ergonomics are very nice on XDMs. Always have been. It handles the 10 millimeter nicely. I don't know whether it handles it better or not as good as the uh, smaller version. Maybe a future head to head for that. But it's definitely putting them where I point it. So that was 17 rounds, all in uh, about that size group. So it's pretty good. And uh, again, up about uh, 12 or 13 yards downrange, that target. I think I've got it dialed in pretty decently. Let's put some on paper, see how it looks. All right, that paper target is exactly 13 yards away, right next to the steel target. Got the orange dot, the all familiar orange dot for me to aim at. And I think I've got a pretty good zero. Probably not precise, but it's good enough that my shots should at least be in the picture. <laughs> That's what counts. Um, so I'm shooting, just for your information, at LAX ammo, 180 grain, 10 millimeter LAX ammo which i find to be good stuff obviously it's not going to be the hottest ammo out there but it is a pretty potent load i will move on at some point to a little uh little hotter stuff maybe some sig hollow point but for right now let's just get an idea where it's going on paper talk a little bit more about the gun it definitely gives you that handful that a lot of XDM guys like in their full size. And it looks like it is fairly well dialed in. Of course, I'm using this, uh, this hex optic that came on the gun. So that does kind of change the evaluation a little bit in that way. Normally I don't do that, but that's how Springfield sent it to me. And while I'm disclaiming that, Springfield did provide this gun for this review. If you think that influences me, you get to decide.
Man, I love 10 millimeter. It is the very best millimeter. All right, I'm just gonna keep slamming away at that orange dot for a while. Got two more magazines loaded up with 10 rounds each. And let's talk about the Springfield Armory XDM, specifically the Elite, which this is, and in 10 millimeter. So if you're in a situation where 10 millimeter makes really good sense to you, you know, if you're if you spend a lot of time outdoors, if you if you have a ranch or a lot of big property that you have to, to be out in or patrol, or if you're a hunter and you need to have a handgun for your protection while you're out hunting, um, or even you know, even other activities, hiking and fishing and whatever, anything that might take you, you know, off off trail, out of the beaten path. Um, in, a, in an area where there may be predators that are fairly large. <laughs> uh, 10 millimeter is a very good round for your personal defense for that. And I know a lot of people have, you know, longed for the bigger gun to come out with more capacity. So I think this is a definitely a very welcome addition to the XDM lineup. Uh, with the 16 plus one, I mean, 17 rounds of 10 millimeter, <laughs> You better hope you never need more than that, because um, you, you're uh, you're you're gonna they're they're gonna sing songs about you in the future if you if you ever need more than 17 rounds of 10 millimeter, but uh, that's definitely enough. It's also it's a it's a big enough gun for you know you guys who have those huge meat hooks you know who don't like the small guns. It's big enough for you, but yet it's still small enough, and I've got smallish hands that it, it doesn't feel any different to me than than the compact, you know, the 3.3 inch, um, because it's built the same. It's the same same frame size and all that. So I like that. And, you know, it's just got the, uh, the ergonomics and the aesthetics that we're used to for so long with the XDM line that are so familiar. And it just runs. It runs and runs. As you've seen so far, you know, I don't have a whole lot of rounds through it today, but you know, you guys out there probably know that if you're going to have trouble with a gun, you usually have trouble with it right away. All right, back at it. I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit and probably make that group suffer. It does have the U-dot sights if I were to take this optic off and put the plate on. I've got that excellent U-notch rear sight and a red fiber optic sight out front. Great sight picture. I know some of you guys don't like the uh, grip safety. And I, can't, I can't do anything about what you do or don't like, but I can tell you that I don't notice it while I'm shooting. It's really a non-factor a non for me. So there. <laughs> All right, 10 more. So I don't, I don't know the spring weight on the recoil spring, but I will tell you it's handling the 10 millimeter nicely. You got plenty to hold on to. And I just love this trigger. I really, really like it. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I probably will put a tail and grip on this thing almost immediately. And that will help. Especially in hot weather when your hands get slippery. Love my talons. It's a shooter. It is a shooter, and man, I just love 10 millimeter. All right, for those of you who like to see groups, I'm gonna shoot a few groups, just a few. I've got a few different kinds of ammo here, and I have replaced my orange dot 13 yards downrange with an Optics Planet target provided by my friends at Optics Planet. Thank you very much. And don't forget, look down below in the, the uh, information for this video, and you will find 
discount codes and affiliate links and cool stuff like that. Optics Planet is one of them where you can save yourself some money. I'm starting out with uh, five rounds of six hour V Crown. 180 grain jacketed hollow point. I'm going to go to the first target on the top left. So again, just offhand. Next up, some arms core, 180 grain, full metal jacket, flat point. Most 10 millimeter, like 40 caliber, uh, 180 grain is uh, flat point. All right, we'll move over to the target right next to that on the right. Okay, there's the arms core. Next up, five rounds of Federal American Eagle, also 180 grain, full metal jacket. Center left. Federal feels uh, pretty light, actually. Yeah, Federal feels like a pretty light load. And even though I've been shooting it most of the day already, and you've seen it, the LAX put five rounds of it on this target as well. We'll scooch over to the right side on the center line. Yeah, this is a lot hotter than the Federal. Okay, uh, it's hard for me to see at this distance, but I think they're all respectable groups. And again, this is offhand shooting, right? I think I might have a wild one on that second group. Not sure, but I'll tell you what, this LAX stuff is holding its own, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, let me leave you with this. The uh, Springfield Armory XDM Elite 10 millimeter, full size, 4.5 inch, for those of you who have been waiting for this gun, kind of hoping for it, you will not be disappointed. It is all that. Um, it's just a really, really nice gun. It's a handful. I mean, it's got a, you know, it's got a larger size frame, a larger size grip. So again, I've got the small to medium size hands and it's, it's great for me. So if you've got smallish hands, you know, don't be too worried about that. Uh, but, you know, you might want to pick one up or, or whatever and try it but if you're familiar with XDMs over the years it hasn't changed any so it still feels exactly the same which is great um, like I said I'm probably going to put a talon grip on this almost immediately because I just like that feel and it does help especially as the weather gets a little warmer and hands get a little slippier um, on all this uh, polymer but excellent gun great performer a couple hundred rounds today have been absolutely flawless and the accuracy is extremely good and uh, you know I'm definitely the weak link there and I've just been shooting offhand. Uh, I got the uh, the optic dialed in pretty decent I think but I didn't go uh, 
you know, I didn't didn't do anything fancy with that, getting it zeroed or anything. It's just kind of where it needs to be. So all in all, very satisfied. Thanks as always for watching. Thanks to my Patreon supporters. Thanks to the companies that work with me and support the channel. If you don't subscribe, go slam that subscribe button. I'd appreciate that and hit like while you're at it. Appreciate that too. It does help the channel quite a bit. And I will see you very soon.